The reason why I think that we have such a strong friendship after only three years is because Tim, um, as a person, is is he's intense. Um, he he's pretty much just all in, right? And all of his energy that he could give, he's gonna give it. He's gonna put it in. He's uh he goes in hot and heavy, and he just he tries his best. And, uh, so Shikani, you got something to look for. Oh. I haven't even drunk anything. <laughs> I can just remember a time, this is for, this is for Shekinah, when we lived at Warrumboo. Um, all those years ago, we had a swimming pool there and I remember carrying Tim on my shoulders in the swimming pool. It was, it was a real highlight because all his brothers and sisters had grown up. I just remember this little baby boy sitting on my shoulders in the pool and what a grand young man you've come up to be, Tim, and we're very proud of you. So, and Shekinah. Um, I think just to finish, as we raise a toast to you both, is that the greatest inheritance you have is your faith in God, okay? It's great to have a good family. It's great to have great friends. But the best inheritance that you've got is the faith that you put in God, all right? So both of you, so never lose sight of that. Thank you. It was really, really funny and nice and a privilege to see the courtship of Tim and Shekinah the very, very long denial of each other's crushes on each other. We were all questioning whether you actually liked each other or not, or whether you knew of that factor. We were quite concerned. The amount of basketball games that we were dragged to just so we could see Tim. The amount of just walks around the block and all those kinds of things that Tim just happened to be parked around. I'm glad that all that time paid off. It's crazy to think that you're here today. Don't worry, I won't give away all the secrets. <laughs> Ron said, yeah, she's a simple, you know, to be honest, uh, there's no, no complaint, not demanding, maybe a, a big sister a little bit, a big sister a little bit demanding, though, and the boys, oh, so what's out, what's out, Shikaina, the boys are a little bit demanding, though, <laughs> no, but yeah, to be honest with you, Shikaina, yeah, she's so simple and everything, yeah, that's called simplicity is a beautiful thing, so, and what should I say, yeah, and when I first met Tim, when we joined the church with the family, thanks God that they brought us there, and yeah, I saw Tim playing drums, oh, I told him, oh, I love the music though, but yeah, and when he approached me, uh, Tito, and he said, oh, I, I sense that something in there, <laughs> but hang on, I know you you meeting and everything, but yeah, when you said that, Tito, I'd like to propose with Chikaina, okay. And when we went home and Chikaina asked me, what do you reckon, Pop? I like Tim. And said, oh, I like him too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and mom said, I like him too. So Tim, you got three yeses. <laughs> is not jealous or boastful or proud or even rude. It doesn't demand its own way because it's not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. That love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. So what we witness here today is in association with heaven's idea for marriage between this man and this woman. 
I've seen Tim grow from a young boy, well, actually from a baby. <laughs> Before that. Um, and to be the, the young, delightful man that he is today, he's very faithful and a loyal person. I'm sure, Shekinah, that you've already discovered this in Tim. It has also been a delight to get to know you, Shekinah, in more recent years, particularly as you've both been with us and walking with the Lord. You are both meant for each other. You both understand and have God's heart for marriage as he purposes. May you both be shining lights and an inspiration for many others now and in the years to come. <laughs> Would the parents of the bride please stand? Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Me do. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Thank, you. Thank you. Tim. Getting to do life with you has been so beautiful and challenging at the same time. We've learned how to love each other well despite our differences and that loving each other is a choice that we get to make every day. We both had to grow a lot which pushed, which pushed us out of our comfort zone. And I know God didn't call us to live in our comfort zone and a relationship chasing after Jesus definitely isn't a comfortable one. But I choose life with you, a life serving and glorifying God with you. I choose a life loving people with you and loving each other the way Jesus called us to over my own comfort. So today as we step into our roles together as husband and wife in front of our loved ones and in the presence of God, I promise to love you every day, choosing to love you the same on the days it's easy to love you as well as on the days when loving you takes a little bit more of it. <laughs> I promise to choose connection, humbling myself and being on, open and honest with you, knowing that we grow closer when we let each other in. I promise to honour you and champion you. I promise to trust you and trust where you lead us both, knowing that your leadership is rooted in love and that God has chosen and equipped you for this role. And I promise to not take my role as your wife lightly and allow God to shape me into the wife he's created me to be. Sorry. I love you, Tim, and what an honour it is to know you, grow with you, and to do life by yourself. Uh, wow. Okay. Dear Shekinah, my best friend, the love of my life, and the one that I treasure. This day, in front of God, our families and friends, I take you as my wife. I promise to be faithfully by your side as your husband, in sickness and in health, in joy and in hopelessness, through the good times and the bad. With all that I am, I promise to love you without holding back, to honour you in what I do and say, provide for your needs, protect you and comfort you. I promise to grow as we go, always being honest and humble with you. I promise to be quick to forgive, knowing that Jesus first forgave us, and quick to repent when I miss it, knowing that I am far from perfect. And lastly, I promise to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Tim and Shekinah have today both witnessed to their consent to live together in marriage. They have pledged their faithfulness to each other. It's real. They have confirmed it by the giving and receiving of rings and by the joining of hands. Therefore, it's my duty, in the name of the Father and of his Son and of his Holy Spirit to declare Timothy and Shekinah as husband and wife. Tim, you may kiss your bride.
But yeah, just in the last year as Shekinah's moved over to Adelaide, being able to see just glimpses of them spending time together and the way that Tim talks so genuinely about Shekinah, I know for a fact, I'm convinced, that they are disgustingly in love. And I was proven right today when they got married. So, come on. Um, but, I'm proud of you guys. I'm thankful for you, Tim, and for our friendship. And I know that you two are going to have a beautiful marriage under the blessing of God. Um, and so to the bride and groom, let us give us. amazing one. This year in particular with you moving to Adelaide and all of the challenges we've faced and ups and downs and growing and continuing to choose connection even in the face of frustration at each other, pride, anxiety, all of everything else that comes with it. I couldn't be more proud to call you my wife and there is no one else I want for the rest of my life. So if you would raise your glass with me and sharing a toast. Cheers. Cheers.